Eating these two foods can lower your blood pressure. This is the fastest, simplest way to drop your blood pressure without changing a single medication. I'm talking about a reduction you can measure in hours, not weeks. Most people focus on cutting salt, but the real power lies in adding two groups of foods that fix the underlying plumbing problem. By the end of this video, I'll tell you exactly how much to eat, what to pair with them to maximize the effect and reveal a third bonus food that's essential for long-term arterial health. Let's start with the one that acts like a shot of internal vasodilator. If you're fighting hypertension, if your doctor has warned you about heart attack or stroke, you need to understand how the food you eat acts like a natural prescription on controlling the size of your blood vessels and the fluid balance in your body. Welcome or welcome back if you're returning. I'm Dr. John Truback, a cardiovascular surgeon. My job is to protect your heart and the best way to do that is often through smart, evidence-based nutrition. Today we're cutting through the noise to focus on two categories of food, easy to find, inexpensive, and proven by clinical trials that attack high blood pressure from two different angles. Let's dive right into the first one, which focuses on your blood vessel flexibility. Food group number one, beetroot and leafy greens. Here's the secret. When you eat these vegetables, the nitrates are converted in your body into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a powerful natural vasodilator. Think of your arteries like old rubber hoses. Nitric oxide makes those hoses is relax, widening the channel, and instantly allowing blood to flow through more easily. This reduces the pressure in your system. The evidence? A 2022 meta-analysis confirmed that consuming nitrate-rich foods, particularly beetroot juice, significantly lowered both systolic, the top number, and diastolic, the bottom number, blood pressure. Studies have shown reductions of up to four to five millimeters of mercury in a matter of hours after ingestion. This is a medically significant drop for just drinking a juice, here's the mechanism deep dive. This reduction is dose dependent. The more highly concentrated nitrates you consume, the stronger the vasodilatory effect. This is why concentrated beetroot juice is often used in clinical settings. The effect peaks within three to six hours, making this the perfect immediate fix before a stressful event or an important doctor's visit. The how-to. You don't need a huge amount. The most powerful way is to consume about 70 to 140 milliliters, 2.5 to 4.7 ounces of beetroot juice daily. If you prefer solids, aim for one cup of cooked spinach or Swiss chard daily. These are also high in magnesium, doubling the benefit. Here's a pro tip. The conversion process starts with bacteria in your mouth. Don't use antiseptic mouthwash right after eating these as it can kill the beneficial bacteria needed to make nitric oxide. To maximize the effect, don't brush your teeth for at least an hour after consuming nitrates. The benefit here is instant relief through vasodilatation. The second food group Group corrects the most common mineral imbalance that contributes to hypertension. Food group number two, beans, lentils, and legumes. These are absolute powerhouses of two key minerals, potassium and magnesium. This is the core principle of the DASH, Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension Diet. Mechanism one, potassium. Potassium is the natural counterbalance to sodium found in salt. Most modern diets are too high in sodium and too low in potassium. Potassium helps your kidneys flush out excess sodium and water, reduce the volume of fluid in your arteries, which directly lowers your blood pressure. This is how many blood pressure medications work, but potassium does it naturally. The mechanism? Magnesium acts like a natural calcium channel blocker. It prevents calcium from entering muscle cells in your blood vessel walls, which keeps the vessels relaxed and prevents them from tightening up. Magnesium deficiency is incredibly common and directly correlates with stiff arteries and higher blood pressure. The evidence? A 2017 review demonstrated that consistent intake of legumes was associated with a modest but significant reduction in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure, making them excellent staples for prevention and management. Furthermore, switching from a meat-based protein to a legume-based protein provides a major nutritional upgrade. The how-to? Aim for about four to five servings per week. One serving is about half a cup of cooked beans or lentils. Here's a tip for digestion. Start slowly and increase your intake over a few weeks. Soaking dried beans overnight or using canned beans that have been thoroughly rinsed can reduce reduce the anti-nutrients and fiber that sometimes cause digestive discomfort. Here's a meal swap. Try substituting ground beef in a meal for bean-based protein like lentil soup or black bean burger. This swap reduces saturated fat while maximizing these heart-healthy minerals. By combining the nitrate effect, vasodilatation, and the potassium-magnesium effect, fluid balance and vessel relaxation, you're attacking high blood pressure with a two-pronged strategy. Before we wrap up the final actionable step, 
I promised you a third bonus food category essential for long-term arterial health, omega-3 fatty acids. While nitrates and potassium provide fast action, omega-3s, specifically EPA and DHA, work over the long term by reducing overall inflammation in your arteries. Mechanism of action? Inflammation makes the artery wall stiff and sticky, raising resistance and blood pressure. Omega-3s calm this inflammation, improving the elasticity of the vessels and helping to lower resting heart rate. This is the key to preventing hypertension from worsening over a decade. The how-to. Aim for two servings of fatty fish per week. If you don't eat fish, a high-quality fish oil supplement providing at least 1,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA daily is an excellent alternative. So we have the fast fix, nitrates, the long-term balance, potassium and magnesium, and the longevity fix, omega-3s. To summarize, your new blood pressure protocol, beets, greens, daily consumption for immediate vasodilatation, beans, lentils, four to five times per week for mineral balance and fluid regulation, fatty fish supplements twice a week for long-term arterial elasticity. If you're currently on blood pressure medication, do not stop or change your dose without speaking to your physician. These foods are powerful adjuncts, not replacements. They should work with your treatment plan. If you found this information helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. John Chuback, and I'll see you in the next video.